Here is a team that hardly needs any uh, real announcement because Team Hard have been on the, on the scene for a very, very long time. And the man to tell us all about it is Tony Gillum here, the MD, the posh new title. So tell us a bit about Team Hard. OK, so we're a relatively young team as a standalone operation. We're now five years old um, as of December the 31st. But um, we started with, with one car back in the day, my racing, and it's grown steadily over the last five years. And uh, we're up to some dizzy heights in terms of numbers now. Numbers of drivers and also numbers of championships, because you were just telling me before we started rolling that you're now covering some 15 different championships? We're, we're, current, we're now in 15 championships, some of which have been announced already. Um, some more are going to be announced tomorrow and in the, in the coming weeks. But so, yeah, to put some numbers to it, so we're 15 championships across British motorsport. We manage 51 drivers in total now. And uh, so it's growing year on year, but the bigger it's get in the easier it's becoming so it's uh it is a growing empire but the the attention to detail is going up the quality is going up and we're improving steadily year on year what makes you take a particular interest in a particular driver or championship to take part in so for me we are a, a business hub and um, we we operate very different to most teams we are a small family team but arguably now the biggest team in, in the uk in terms of number of cars that we run but importantly with essentially 51 brand ambassadors for our partners our reach is massively ahead of any, but any other team in the UK, I'd imagine. So there's some bigger teams in terms of Team Dynamics, West Surrey Racing, huge touring car teams with massive history, but we're, we're bigger in different ways. So it's what we do, we're a massive social networking event, the opportunity that we can offer, no one else can, and the amount of reach, as I say, collectively, the numbers are are huge now um, so it's very beneficial for partners to be involved because essentially it's return on investment it's value for money it's it's all kinds of things that tick every single box that we do yeah, absolutely and behind us we've got the british touring car car and you've been in that for a while now so tell us a bit about the involvement and the championship looking forward and also the goals for team hard moving into 2019 and beyond so touring car started for us myself racing um, originally with triple a in 2011 we moved on to run our own car the honda civic in 2012 um, it's an expensive series to race in. It become very increasingly difficult to compete at the front end of the grid with the budget that we had to work with. So essentially, we turned it into our own own team. It's been growing ever since. We're currently running four cars, uh, four VW CCs. We've got a very competitive lineup. We're signed nice and early this year. And the touring car is the pinnacle of British motorsport. We're very proud to be associated and, and part of the grid. And sometimes you don't really understand how how big it is when you're really wrapped up in it but when you step back and have a look at it it's a huge operation and, and fair play Alan Gow and all the guys Dan Mayo that, that put it together it is a very very special championship we are so happy and proud to be part of it and it's still getting bigger and better every year yeah, and it's a championship based on entertainment first though Alan Gow says the British touring car it's entertainment first racing second and you guys fall into the entertainment category pretty well because I didn't realize this until just a few moments ago but I always thought the pink bubble hats were just to be seen and noticed on the grid but it's more more reasons than that yeah, it, they do stand out. It is our we have our chosen charity is cancer research, breast cancer. We carry the the pink ribbons and all of our race cars. It's something that very close to heart with families that we've we've lost over the years and some team members that have lost their their loved ones. So that is our chosen charity. The pink came from the colour of, of breast cancer and we, we're sort of stepping it up with the, the pink bobble hats, we've introduced some scars, some sliders, there's a little bit of, of fun to it but there's a very serious side to it in that we are a firm believer in that every team should represent a charity which more and more are doing now. I've seen an announcement today that, that QuickFit are going to be raising money for a, a young cancer charity so that's, that's great as well. So that side of it is something that again we're proud to be associated with, that is our chosen charity and we like the pink so it's all absolutely good. and finally what is the end goal for team hard let's say 10 15 years down the line where are you going to be um so we're heading towards we want to do le mans le mans is a, a dream of ours that's always been mine as a driver but collectively as a team and a lot of the drivers that we have on on our books we have the whole motorsport journey in-house from karting all the way through to touring car gt whatever championship may be because we compete in so many championships we can build relationships with drivers they can complete their racing career with us from the bottom all the way to the, to the top and in a very economical way because of what we offer in terms of our business hub setup but long-term aspirations are to eventually win touring car massively competitive championships not easy we just want to keep moving forward year on year so to keep developing that but um ultimately i mean i guess we're going to keep growing organically we, we're operating out of three factories at the moment we want to move to just one bigger place where it's all under one roof and then 
there's all sorts of things that we, we want to bring in-house. We do most of it in-house at the minute, um, but the end goal will be to have the, the Empire complete. When we're racing at Le Mans and all these, these top series, but we bring the, the simulation into, into it at the premises, the gym, the media training. We want to be a one-stop shop for a racing driver. But, and that's where we get our buzz from, is helping drivers. And 100% of our drivers wouldn't be racing without our support and our partner support. So that's the important part of it for us and what makes us different to everybody else. And with 51 drivers on the roster? 51, yeah. That's, that's a pretty, pretty good start. It's, it's not a bad start, <laughs> is it? Tony, all the best for 2019 and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank Cheers, thank you.